guys, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about how to customize RuboCop Rails on Mikase with other rules. Um, so this library has very few rules in the RuboCop.yml file. It sets up a couple of things, um, but it's very, very simple stuff, like aligning with and end and case statements, and we can scroll down and see that's all the rules that are in this by default. It's very, very flexible, doesn't really have um, much opinion, and uh, is just a starting place for what you might want. So in the past, before Rails had um, Rubocop Rails and Mikase, we've been using standard RB and really like that the team at Test Double has basically made this with the idea in mind that they will make the decisions for you and your team can just write code and let standard format it and keep it consistent. So you don't have to argue about how things are formatted or anything at all. And I like that a lot. Um, but having both tools, Rubocop Rails, Omakase, and Standard in the same project is confusing and they conflict because the rules are different. So what I wanted to do was kind of combine the two together. Um, and in Rails, you get this rubocop.yml file. It inherits from Rubocop Rails on Mikase, um, and then we have a place to override the rules or add our own rules. And this is pretty straightforward. If we were to go into our terminal and run bin rubocop, it will analyze our application, find some stuff that's wrong, um, whatever it might be. I've been messing with this, so we have things that are messed up that we can auto-correct according to the RuboCop Rails Omakase. And now if we run bin RuboCop, we will get no offenses detected. So everything is good now um, and aligns. But what if we wanna go and kind of use the standard set of rules with RuboCop Rails Omakase? Well, we can look at the configuration for standard. So there's actually several different files in here. The place we wanna start is with default. It sets the target Ruby version to 3.0 by default, but you can also go and use features of Ruby 3.3 and enforce those by targeting the Ruby version of 3.3 or whatever makes sense for your application. You'll notice this inherits from base.yml, which we can look at and we can see here that uh, this is pretty much where it defines all of its cops for standard. So if we were to copy the contents of this file and paste that, into our .rubocop YML, we could basically get all of the standard RB uh, cops enabled in RuboCop Rails on Mikase. And now we have those 38 uh, offenses detected, and it's gonna say for things like uh, hashes, we don't want spaces inside of them, so if we bin rubocop-a, it's going to autocorrect those and get us in a better place. Um, there's still a, f a couple here that it can't autocorrect. For example, wrapping this assignment with in uh, parentheses inside of an if statement so you don't accidentally make a mistake of double equals. Um, so that I think is very helpful. Um, things like standard out as a, a constant versus the um, global variable. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Rails uses the constant. Maybe you wanna remove that one we could simply go in and customize our mixture of standard RB and uh, Rails. So if we look for this, the style, what was it, global, there we go, um, we could say false. And then if we run it one more time, we should see there's only two offenses and that's those assignments, which I think makes sense to wrap those in parentheses. It's caught me making mistakes before uh, like that. And so I, that's one of the reasons I really like standard is it helps catch bugs that you might have accidentally wrote or security issues or something like that, that uh, it can kind of detect with these more cops enabled. Um, so that's very helpful, especially in open source or projects with lots of people on it. Um, okay, so that, is pretty much all we have to do to kind of combine the two. We actually don't need standard to be installed as a gem. You could, and you could probably merge that in here with the inherit gem. So you can inherit from Rubicop Rails Omakase and standard and pull in the base YML directly without having to copy paste these in. 
Um, but I thought this was nice. We can kind of get the best of both worlds in one place. Now, if you really wanted to just use standard, I would probably get rid of the bin RuboCop file and uh, make sure that everybody uses standard. But I thought this was nice for projects like Jumpstart that we want to stick to the Rails defaults as best we can. But these are some things that I really appreciate having the extra cops on from standard because it's caught many mistakes in pull requests and other things um, over the years. And so I find this really useful and was trying to figure out how do we switch to Rubicop Rails on Mikase without losing all the benefits of standard. And this is pretty much how we do it. And we basically paste in all of those uh, carefully curated cop configurations into our Rubicop YML file. And we can update this whenever standard updates. Maybe we could do this once a quarter, once a year, whatever it is. Um, these aren't changing that often. And so it's important uh, to have our baseline there, but we can update this periodically and it's not a big deal. So I thought that was a cool balance of using Rubicop Rails on Mikase and standard together, um, which is neat. So that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.